All right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to make this a retro pixelated effect here in After Effects. I'm gonna start with this composition. If you wanna know how I made this 3D rotating text, I gotta leave a link in the description. By the way, the composition settings are 1080 by 1080, five seconds. I'm also gonna need to add a black background on this. I'm gonna add a solid. I'm gonna drag the background under the text. Right click here, new, and select adjustment layer. I'm gonna rename it as effects. And I'm gonna bring this effect adjustment layer on the top of the layers. Now let's go to the effects and presets, type in posterize. Drag and drop the posterize on the effects layer. And I'm gonna add 10. Let's go back to the effects and presets, type in mosaic. Drag and drop under the posterize. And I'm gonna go with 60 by 60. Go back to effects and presets, type in CC ball action. Drag it under the mosaic. The size of the ball has to be at the size of the pixels. So I'm gonna go here, grid spacing, I'm gonna add eight. So check this out. If I uncheck CC ball action, the size is pretty much the same. If it's not, you can increase it. I'm gonna try it out with 10. Actually 10 matches better. I also gotta go back to the effects and presets, type in curves and drag it under the CC ball. And I'm gonna add some more contrast like so. Now let's go back to the project up here and I'm gonna create a new composition, right click, select new composition, rename it as RGB, 1080 by 1080, click OK. Let's drag the pixel into the RGB and I'm gonna go to the effects and presets, type in shift channel, drag and drop the shift channel on the pixel layer composition and I'm gonna duplicate this layer two more times, press Ctrl D and Ctrl D again. So the first layer is gonna be red, so let's go up to the shift channel. Here we got the red, let's go to the green, select turn off, we're gonna turn off the blue as well. Let's go to the second layer, this is gonna be the green. Let's go to the red, turn off the red. We're gonna remain with the green, go to the blue, turn it off. And let's go to the third layer, this is gonna be the blue. Let's go to the red, turn it off, green off, blue on. I also gonna rename them. Let's select all of them. And we're gonna go to the mode and I'm gonna select add. If you don't have the blend mode here, you can go to toggle switch, click on it, and it's going to hide or unhide the settings. And from here, all we need to do is I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the pixels, and I'm gonna go and select the red layer, and I'm gonna press the left arrow quite a bit. And now I'm gonna go and select the blue layer, and I'm gonna press the right arrow. So check this out. Now it looks pretty sharp, but we're gonna need to downgrade the quality a little bit more. So let's go here, right click, new, and select adjustment layer. I'm gonna drag it on the top, right click rename, effects. And I'm gonna go to the effects and presets, type in VR glow, and drag it on the effects. And I'm gonna go to the glow radius and decrease it a little bit. And now we got some nice glowing effects going on. Let's go back to the effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur, drag and drop it under the glow. As you can see, the pixels are really sharp. So I'm gonna go to the blur and I'm gonna increase the Gaussian blur. I'm gonna go with 4.1. Let's go back to the effects, type in add grain, drag and drop the add grain under the Gaussian blur. Let's go to preview, change it to final output. And I'm gonna make it sharp again. I'm gonna go to the presets and I'm gonna go and select the Eastman EXR 50D. And I'm gonna increase the intensity to two. And I'm also gonna increase the size a little bit, 1.2. And take a look at that. And this is how I make this a retro pixelated effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.